Justin here to tell you the story of a great pal of mine who just happens to be a living legend. Robert Frederick Zenon Geldof, or just Bob to his friends, like myself. He grew up in Dunleary, County Dublin. As a young fella, Bob was a bit wild. Lots of messing and acting the maggot. And all the other kids would follow his lead. Take that traffic cone off your head and put it back on the road where it belongs, his dad would say. Oh, dad, you're no fun. The cheeky Bob replied. Why are you so scared? Asked Shane. Oh, I don't know, Shane. Maybe it's because of the rumours Dr. Frank has a basement full of body parts he uses to make monsters. <laughs> It'll be grand. She peeked in through its carved out eyes and had a monstrously good idea. This is the perfect place to stash my swag. Don was the most popular kid in fifth class. Unfortunately for Mary, upon hearing Don's free ice cream policy, all the kids that had surrounded her dropped their flyers and ran over to him. Disaster. How could Mary compete with the free ice cream campaign? It's your horse, love. She shouted back into the kitchen. I was off to Torbet the villagers for Halloween tonight while looking for that head of his. Right. Have a good day, dear. And don't forget your swords, your daggers, and your cloak of skulls. And I didn't make you a packed lunch for obvious reasons. The headless horseman mounted his horse and off they headed to the village. As both me, Rory O'Neill from Ballinrobe, and me as the super fabulous Panty Bliss. <laughs> and that's the storybook. <laughs>